Universal Studio. Should be a fun time. I'll catch you guys. Here we go. Hi, Josh. Hi. How are you doing? Just another reminder that it's the holiday. You know, if you haven't listened to the Christmas song that I wrote yet, go give that a stream. It's up on Spotify, up on all streaming services. So. When I'm missing your presence, still I'll put all the lights up. Maybe you'll get the message. That's a line cliche. Wow, I've always wanted to go to New York. I should have brought my Slytherin sweatshirt. Yeah, I got merch. Could cop butterbeer. Nothing wrong with that. I'm ready to ride Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Should be exciting. Hey John. Hey John, do you want to grab a wand? Uh, no. Uh, we're outside near the entrance. Are you? Are you? Wow, so majestic. I have a lot of trouble looking the Dementors in the face for some reason. I've just seen too many movies where they suck out your soul. Really enjoyed it, definitely recommend. I think uh, the high speed chases are the best part. I forget what it's called, I think it's like Escape from Hogwarts or Harry Potter the Forbidden Journey, I think is the name of the ride, but yeah. I could probably grab a butter beer. But... Trying to cut down on empty butter, you know? Wanted to find a quieter place to vlog, so. In the bathrooms, moaning Myrtle squeals around and makes you feel uncomfortable. Well, not actually, but that's the purpose. And I heard this little kid asking his dad, like, Why does Hogwarts talk to you while you're pooping? So I thought that was funny. Honeydews, now this is where it's at. This is what we need. We need the, the Felix Felicis, the every flavor beans. That's what I'm talking about. This is where it's at. I don't think I'd forgive myself if I didn't cop some fizzing whizbees. I always thought those would come in little cups, to be honest. Like that more. Buttered beer fun. Oh. There's Funland behind me. Funland, a land of fun, you know. I got myself some some tongue burners. Hopefully they won't actually burn my tongue, but who knows. Update, they're not burning my tongue, they're just normal mints. Here's all of them. Soft spot for these rides. The ones that just go around in a circle. Come on, John, we gotta go. We gotta go look over this overlook. Right. It's over this way. We're gonna look over it. GoPro gone, we're ready to, ready to. It's a GoPro. I feel like a really low budget Terminator or someone who can't afford Google Glass. <laughs> Nothing like a long line to remind you what lines are like. A big line. Too bad that one isn't a real thing. Hey, mom, mom, we can do the yard work simulator. Over there is the Warner Brothers studio. 
can't see it, but it's there. The shard. Now that, that's a donut. For cargo, you'll find the Spanish entrance, you'll find the general English English entrance, and you'll find solar parking. Board the tram, however you may eat and drink as much as you possibly want, so go wild. And finally, please be prepared for loud noises, sudden tram movements, fire effects, really bad jokes, and yes, you might even be getting a little bit wet on the tour today. One of the stages here on the left is a great example, that's Sound Stage 12. One of the largest sound stages in the world. The stage 12 is currently haunts the hit NBC show The Voice. Point. That large building there on the left hand side looks a bit different now, but redressed. It used to be a famous clock tower where Doc Brown harnessed that bolts of light. Immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet. Ladies. Now, flash flood one, that's not good. It's starting to get flash floods. Recycled water, at least for large tanks, into the King of the Crystal Skull. Train movies like Destry Rides again and Winchester 73, both of those stars changed the language on the signs. So that's simple. This area was used for Disney's first three Pirates of the Caribbean films. Other movie that's him, right over there. Finally caught that pesky shark. We actually have a police diver in the water right now. He's patrolling the harbor for us. Wait a minute, hang on, hang on. Looks like they have another, another shark in the water. Hey, Officer George. Okay. All right, we're going to get out of here now. I'm going to hope the shark takes the bait. It's attached to that yellow barrel right there. We'll see. This. We should sit here for a minute and watch. You're a bad banana with a... Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of creepy, coming up, the spectacular airplane crash site set from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. Gates of the neighborhood where Tom Cruise hides out the film War of the Worlds. We're here waiting for the Walking Dead attraction. Should be fun. All right, we just came from the Walking Dead walkthrough. All right, John, scream it like you mean it. Ah! The Harry Potter car, the Ford Engine. Right here, front row. Yeah, you guys are in for it. Waves come up over here. They... One, two, three, go! Oh, let me fix that. Hold on. <laughs> So we just came from the special effects show. I managed to snag a few videos of it here. That our booth is ready, so let's roll sound. <laughs> I didn't want to film too much because I thought it would be rude, and I was also paying attention, but it was cool. We went over foying, I think. Was it foying? Foley. Foley, yeah, yeah. They made a Foley track, which is when you get all the uh, sound effects ready and perform them in one live take, so that was really cool. They also set someone on fire here. Ryan, you ready to burn? Right. 
Ready and action. Yeah, but we're just gonna go grab some food, so see you on the flip side, homies. As promised, getting some food for the Panda Express. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Having a good time. Bye. Bye, Universal. Hey, it's as simple as you think.